Anti-imperialism in political science and international relations is a term used in a variety of contexts, usually by nationalist movements who want to secede from a larger polity, usually in the form of an empire, but also in a multi-ethnic sovereign state, or as a specific theory opposed to capitalism and Leninist discourse, derived from Vladimir Lenin's work Imperialism, the highest stage of capitalism. Less common usage refers to opponents of an interventionist foreign policy. People who categorize themselves as anti-imperialists often state that they are opposed to colonialism, colonial empires, hegemony, imperialism and the territorial expansion of a country beyond its established borders. The phrase gained a wide currency after the Second World War and at the onset of the Cold War as political movements in colonies of European powers promoted national sovereignty. Some anti-imperialist groups who opposed the United States supported the power of the Soviet Union, while in some Marxist schools, such as Maoism, this was criticized as social imperialism. In the late 1870s, the term imperialism was introduced to the English language by opponents of the aggressively imperial policies of British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli, 1874-1880. It was shortly appropriated by supporters of imperialism such as Joseph Chamberlain. For some, imperialism designated a policy of idealism and philanthropy, others alleged that it was characterized by political self-interest, and a growing number associated it with capitalist greed. John A. Hobson and Vladimir Lenin added a more theoretical macroeconomic connotation to the term. Many theoreticians on the left have followed either or both in emphasizing the structural or systemic character of imperialism. Such writers have expanded the time period associated with the term so that it now designates neither a policy nor a short space of decades in the late 19th century, but a global system extending over a period of centuries, often going back to Christopher Columbus. As the application of the term has expanded, its meaning has shifted along five distinct but often parallel axes, the moral, the economic, the systemic, the cultural and the temporal. Those changes reflect, among other shifts in sensibility, a growing unease with the fact of power, specifically Western power. The relationships among capitalism, aristocracy and imperialism have been discussed and analyzed by theoreticians, historians, political scientists such as John A. Hobson and Thorstein Veblen, Joseph Schumpeter and Norman Angel. Those intellectuals produced much of their works about imperialism before the World War I, 1914-1918, yet their combined work informed the study of the impact of imperialism upon Europe and contributed to the political and ideologic reflections on the rise of the military-industrial complex in the United States from the 1950s onwards.